Hello, I'm Jerry Ford, the beer review guy. I'm gonna do a Bell's beer. This is the Two Hearted IPA, <clears throat> American IPA, 7% ABV. Um, brewed and canned by Bell's Brewery Incorporated, Comstock, um, Michigan. <clears throat> Got a couple of, look like they might be trout. Might be rainbow, rainbow trout. <clears throat> okay, this is uh, one of the Mike Healy beers. So um, I took a, I gave the Mike Healy beers a break. I didn't take a break from the Mike Healy beers. I gave the Mike Healy beers a break and did that for Loco the other day. Um, but uh, I was anxious to get back on them again because I've been having fun checking these things out. There have been some really unique ones in there. Never know what to expect on some of these. <clears throat> So, let's see what we got here. Starting off with a four finger head there. <clears throat> it's kind of an off white, kind of a, a little vanilla, kind of a color. The head is the head has also got some bigger bubbles from the pour but the outer part got some real fine um sudsy looking looking bubbles <coughs> got a nice amber color on the beer kind of has that tea kind of look to it mm. that's got a nice mellow IPA aroma. It doesn't smell like it's going to be like a big aggressive IBU, you know, <clears throat> bitter type of a beer. <coughs> bitter type of an IPA. <coughs> <coughs> it's really pretty outside today. Man, it's nice. <coughs> <coughs> is not going down that fast. I'm wanting really badly to get into my shed, start cleaning up in there. <coughs> <coughs> start cleaning up in there so I can work on my workbench. That last project that I did with my living room floor falling in. Um, I mean, it just <coughs> created a mess. So I gotta try to get back in and organize it again. Um, <coughs> my wife wants to make some craft type stuff and I need my shop top in there to do stuff, you know, to do stuff on. So I need it cleaned off. <coughs> It's right there inside the door, so it's kind of a catch-all and creates a problem. I want to extend my my uh, <clears throat> tabletop out a little bit more, so there's a little bit more room on there. No, not no. I know what you're thinking. Yeah, more room to put more junk on. No, nah, just just an, an extra room to work off of <clears throat> but uh, 
the weather has got to has got to cooperate a little bit. <clears throat> I got something going on Saturday, so I can't work out there Saturday. And Sunday, it's supposed to be 50 something, but yet it's supposed to be raining. So, I don't know if I'll be able to work out there or not. <clears throat> it's a little cloudy. Okay, I can't, I can't wait any longer. I'm going to have to go in. <clears throat> it's going to get all up in my mustache and everything. Yeah. Like I said earlier, it has a, a kind of a mellow IPA aroma. A little sweetness. A little bit of pine. Kind of a... Maybe a little citrus. A little citra. It smells good. All right. I don't remember if I've done this or not. It looks familiar. I've seen it before <clears throat> in, other in other people's reviews. But um, I just can't remember if I ever got one of these or not. Okay. smooth <clears throat> a little bit of dryness on the back end not too much <clears throat> IBUs are maybe <clears throat> it's a pretty mellow IPA um, <clears throat> not quite sessionable in the way of you could drink more than one of these um, <clears throat> or that you would want to drink more than one of these in one setting um, sometimes <clears throat> drinking these kind of beers that have that you know that bitter aftertaste <clears throat> is difficult you enjoy it drinking it you know for a while this is not a guzzler you don't you don't gulp these down you sip on these and just you know socialize and <clears throat> just take your time Yeah, it's a, it's got a light carbonation, close to close to a medium body. Let's check see. Yeah, it's got about a medium body. <clears throat> Flavorful. It does still have that kind of um, a little bit of a pine, a little bit of a citrus. <clears throat> this would be I mean it's not it's not too strong that somebody that's not usually an IPA drinker wouldn't like it <clears throat> and it's not too mild that somebody that likes stronger IPAs wouldn't care for it either. So, so uh, I, I I would assume so. Anyway, <clears throat> so there you go. It's a good beer. A good IPA. Okay. We'll take it in, visit with the wife, and drink on this. 
Let me know if you've had this, what you thought of it. <clears throat> Excuse me, 7.7%. I don't really get that in there. The hops in there are pretty, you know, they're pretty strong. Excuse me. Strong on the taste of what's in there. So it kind of masks off the alcohol. Pretty good. Okay, well, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Thanks to Mike Healy for sending me these. And we will see you all on the next one. Yeah, I've got some more Mike Healy beers. So I think there's like, there's one, two, three, four or five, I think, left in there. So got those to look forward to. There's one, I think I told you about it. It's a barley wine. That's 15%. It's gonna. It's got. It's a barrel aged type beer. And those things. I've never had a bad one of those. <clears throat> so I'm looking forward to that one. I'm. I'm saving it for the last. For the last. The very last to do it. So, those are good in the winter time too. And you can age those for two or three years or more, even. They age pretty good. It's already it's already aged. It's already barrel aged. But you can age it some more. <laughs> okay, yeah. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Thanks to Mike Healy. See you on the next one.